Hello again everyone. In this video we're going to talk about one of the fundamental pieces of working with Oracle Application Express and that's something called a workspace. A workspace is something that's set up by your Application Express administrator and it's kind of the organizing concept of organizing all the different pieces that go along with an Oracle Application Express application. So what we're going to do here is we're going to walk through the process of creating a new workspace and then looking at the different things that you can do with a workspace. So in my previous video on Oracle Application Express, I went in and we showed how we can change the port address. Under normal circumstances, um, Oracle Application Express is running on 8080. Uh, for the example that I used in the other video, I changed it to just port 80, which is the standard HTTP port. So to log in, if I want to log into uh, Application Express to do some development work, I could just say whatever my host name is, the port number, and then Apex. In this case, I want to go into the administrative part of Application Express. So I can go in there, and hopefully this will come back in a second. And again, you can see Enter Oracle Application Express Internal Administration Credentials. So I'm going to log in here if I can remember my password. And as part of the admin piece, you can see that we have a whole bunch of different tests that we can perform towards Application Express as a whole. This isn't the user you would log into to create new applications or to run applications or anything like that. This is simply to go into Application Express and set up all of the different criteria for how Application Express is going to work in your environment. So the first thing that we have to do before any development work can begin is to create a workspace. And again, a workspace is just kind of a logical way of organizing all the different pieces that go along with a typical Oracle Application Express application. So if I click on Manage Workspaces here, I can see that I'm taken to another page where I have the ability to go in there to create a workspace, remove it, lock it, uh, manage a workspace, uh, import and export, obviously very important to uh, move applications between different environments. You probably have a development or a test environment set up. You want to take all of the code that goes along with an application, move it to a QA environment or a production environment. Uh, this is where you would go in and do all of those different types of things. The reports will give you information about your existing workspaces, uh, the details, how much disk space is being used, how many developers are actively working on an application. Uh, it'll give you metrics for how well the application is actually performing inside your Oracle database. So there's a lot of uh, information that's provided for you uh, as part of the Application Express administrative tool. And since Application Express really had the philosophy from the ground up of doing everything in a browser, everything that you can do pretty much with Application Express is going to be through a browser. There's some command line tools where if you want to automate, let's say, importing and exporting of applications, uh, you can certainly write uh, some scripts to do that at the command line level. But everything was really intended to be done through a browser. So let's go through the process of creating a workspace. So I'm going to create, click on Create Workspace here, and I'm going to be taken to a wizard where I can put in information. Obviously, anything with an asterisk has to be uh, is a mandatory field. I obviously have to give it some kind of name, so I'll call this test underscore ws. I can specify a workspace ID. I can also specify a description. If I don't, description will stay blank, and Oracle will assign an internal workspace ID for me automatically. That's what I'm going to do for this case. I'm just going to let Oracle do it. So I'll click on Next here. Do I want to reuse an existing schema? What is this asking me? Well, everything that gets done inside of Application Express, page design, uh, any kind of reports or forms interfacing with any kind of web service is done actually right in the database. Everything is generated inside the database and is stored inside the database. So for my application, everything that's going to be associated with this workspace, it has to be stored somewhere inside the Oracle database. So I can create a new schema if I want to, or I can use an existing schema to store information about the application associated with this with this workspace. So I'm going to create one called test underscore ws, give it the same password, and you don't have to give the schema name the same name as your workspace. I'm just doing it in this case to keep it simple. And I'll give myself 50 megs. Click on next. There's also an administrator that goes along with the workspace. This isn't a database 
account. This is an Application Express account for me to administer the database. So I'll give it the same password so I can remember it. And there's also an, an email that's associated with this. Why do we have an email that's associated with this? Well, part of the things that we can do with Application Express is developers can make requests to the administrator to say, I need more space. I want a new workspace. I need to create new developers. Those developers can make requests, and the request will be sent automatically to an email. So um, I'll put in my email here. Click Next. Summary screen. This is everything that you want to do. Here's the name of the table space. User group ID didn't put any description in. Does everything look okay? Yep, everything looks okay. I think this is what I want. I go ahead and I say create workspace. Goes out there, does a whole bunch of stuff inside the database, creates my new workspace for me. So now I have the ability to go in there and as a developer log into Application Express and start working with this particular workspace. Obviously there's nothing in it right now but I'll have the ability to go in there and uh, start working and being productive. Uh, another thing that we can do as soon as this comes back is create the different types of users that we're going to use. Right now there's just one user who can log in. That's the admin user. Uh, we probably want to set up a whole bunch of different users associated with this table space uh, to go in there and actually do development. So Oracle has finally come back saying, OK, we've created the test underscore WS workspace. I can then go into existing workspaces and see that there it is. It has, in fact, been created. I can now click on test WS, and I can see all the information about uh, all the different pieces that go along with this particular workspace. I can click on Manage Users, and I can go in there and say, OK, I want to create a new user to go along with this. I don't want everybody logging in as the admin user, so I'm going to create a new user. I'm going to call him dev, again, use my same email account, and again, I don't have to put in first or last name, but I'll do it anyway. Put in all that information. Is the user an administrator? Nope. We don't want to give them administrative privileges. Do we want to give them development privileges? Yes, we want to do that. We want to give them application builder access? Do we want to give them access to the SQL workshop and everything like that? Do we want to associate them with a particular workspace? Yes, we want to do that. There's our test WS. And we're going to give them a default schema to be associated with that. Test WS user. So they'll have all development privileges. They won't have administration privileges. We'll give them a password associated with that also. Again, keep it simple. I'll call it div user. And we won't make them change their password. We'll say, yeah, we'll let them keep that password. Under normal circumstances, you probably want to make sure the developer uh, or the other users that you create change their password. So it looks like we have everything set up there. We scroll back up, we say create. Users created inside of our Application Express environment. So now let's log out of the administrative tool. And we'll log back in as the developer user. So this is going to be test underscore ws dev user, dev user, click on login, and if we set up everything properly, yep, we have invalid login credentials. And I just remembered it's because I called that user dev, and not dev user. Let's try this again. And you can see that we're now into Oracle Application Express, we're in the test underscore ws workspace. Uh, because this user is a developer, they have the ability to go into Application Builder and start creating their environment. So this video was to show you some of the cool things that you can do with workspaces inside of Oracle Application Express. Stay tuned for more videos on Oracle Apex, and we'll start doing some really cool things in terms of building some really cool applications.